Sup everyone, I'm Female Taku, and I'm here to review episode 2 of Aoharu X Kikanju or Aoharu X Machine Gun. And I have just fallen in love with this anime. If you remember the other day I was telling you how obsessed I've become with Gangsta, well Aoharu X Kikanju is a close second, I've gotta say. Okay, the OP. I've listened to the OP on repeat, and earlier this week I decided to go out and play laser tag because I was just so in the zone with Aoharu X Kikanju with their survival games. I'm like, you know, I, I have to do this. I, I have to be like them. I, ha I have to go. So I was like playing laser tag and I was just thinking of their strategic moves just like them. I am not lying to you guys. I am not lying. So yeah, I've become fully immersed into the world of Aoharu X Kikanju. But anyway, let's talk about this episode. So. Hotaru has to pretend to be a guy so that she can pay off the debt to uh, Matsuoka. I forgot what I called him before. I, that's like his last name or something. But anyway, we'll stick with Matsuoka for right now. And we meet this new guy. His name is Yuki. And Yuki, Yuki, best boy. Best boy of summer 2015. I thought it was going to be Nick or Warwick, but nope, no, nope, best boy goes to Yuki. In my opinion, Yuki best boy, okay? <laughs> I love him, oh my gosh. Okay, but anyway, Yuki, I love his, I love his voice, I love his look, and, <laughs> okay, he's an S and M manga artist. I didn't see that coming, okay? When they mentioned he was a manga artist, and, you know, he mentioned earlier that he's a pervert, I assumed that he was just, you know, just an erotic manga artist, but for it to be S&M, I was like, what? <laughs> you, 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 what? He's into that stuff. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yuki, best boy, summer 2015. <laughs> okay. And uh, Yuki, he doesn't want to make any more friends, and he's just, because he's kind of sensitive when it comes to making friends, things like that, because he thinks that they'll betray him, except for, you know, Matsuoka, because uh, apparently his friends back over in high school ended up betraying him, and then Matsuoka came to save the day, and he was all like, Matsuoka's the only one I need, basically, that's what he's like. And so he kind of tricked Hotaru, and basically having the three guys from the opposite team known as Greyhound attack him. And speaking of Greyhound, oh my gosh, what's up with that team? They, okay, so we learned more about the survival game, how if you get hit, you have to be honest and say hit then everyone knows that you're out. But these guys don't do that. So that's a interesting thing for uh, the survival game. I like it. I like it. Now, uh, anyway, so Yuki ends up coming in to save Hotaru, and then, you know, they both end up winning the match, except they lose in the third round. But that's okay. That's all right. And so Matsuoka wants to become the best of Japan. So apparently how it works, basically, it's a very, very similar to Bullets of Bullets from the GGO arc of Sora Online. I know some of you guys may hate it to death, but I'm just saying that's the greatest comparison I can make, okay? So you keep, you keep, uh, there's like lots of rounds. I don't know how many rounds there are, but you know, you have the first, second, third, and then there's even more after that. So you just keep on trying to beat more people until you become the best. So I guess this is kind of somewhat of a national tournament, you could say. So I kind of like that. And yeah, okay. I love this anime. I loved it way more than I thought I would. And I'm going to say it again. Yuki, best boy. All right. <laughs> I'm your female otaku. Sayonara.